And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to use the dynamic offset function. Let us quickly create a simple example with a circle. I'll hold Ctrl and I drag that. I'll press Ctrl and D to copy it and I'll slide it down holding Shift and Ctrl. Let me copy that as well. I'll select both with the Shift click then Ctrl G to group it. Select it all object, align and distribute. Last select it and align. If you now want to union it, you first have to ungroup it. So select the ears, then shift Control g to ungroup, then shift click on one of the smaller circles and the bigger one, and repeat the process. So now it's one unionized element, and it's a path as you can see down below. Let me copy that, and I use the dynamic offset here. The nodes tool is automatically active, and then you can drag this circle up and down and it's directly affecting this path. You can use that to create simple offsets. Just copy your original element. I give that a black color and put it to background. Then path and dynamic offset. And then drag it upwards. I've got the snapping disabled. Let me show you what happens when it's enabled. You can see it automatically snaps, so you don't have the freedom to adjust it that well. So turn it off temporarily. And you can repeat that process time and time again to create more and more of these offsets with different colors, for example. You can use the same principle for text, but does that strongly depend on the font that you use? Let me use the default font here, the sans serif. We can see that we've got a text element, so we need to go to path and object to path. Now it's a group of six elements, so we need to go to object and ungroup or shift control G. It's all selected, path and combine. And now we've got the path that we need for the dynamic offset. So we can now go to path and simply use it. But let me directly copy it, control D and I put a copy in the background to create this outline. But here's the issue with it. So depending on the font that you use, dynamic offset creates some glitches. The sans serif is not the best font to use. Let me add another one and you can see it at the S letter as well. So it creates these fragments or whatever you want to call it. You can still try it out with the font that you're using. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. If it works, it saves you some time. And this is how you can use the dynamic offset in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.